this is an example of getting a system set up from scratch. Okay. It could also be cleaning up, but in this example, I'll do a setting up. So I'm going to navigate over to P6, uh, EPPM, so the web version. I'm just going to show you that I have a database uh, sitting here that really has no OBS, just the root node uh, waiting to be loaded up with information. The EPS, of course, can be seen in the project window. So I'll navigate there. And same thing, just going to show you that this database has neither one of these two uh, sitting there. Okay, so no EPS structure either. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another database. So this could be my development database where I've put stuff together. The other one, the prod. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract the EPS structure. And of course, I've got an OBS structure as well that I can show you. Okay, so I'm going to extract those two. And how I'm going to do that, of course, is using the loader. So you can have more than one database that it has access to. And you have to pick the one that you're hoping to work in at the moment. So I've got my login. This login uses the P6 API or the P6 security model. So when I log in, if I don't have access to do certain things when I'm in the application, I won't be able to do it in the loader either. So the types of tasks that you can do, you can upload info or extract info. So I'm going to start with extracting info. So I click into my extract, and these are all the uh, various modules that I can grab information out of. So I just said I was going to grab EPS and OBS, so I'll click those two. And in this case, I don't need to take any project info. It's just strictly uh, what is called global information. So I've got those two items uh, identified as the items I want to extract, so I can go ahead and submit. And off it goes. Now, as it's working through, I click refresh and it lets me know if it's done and it's pretty darn quick, this thing, so already finished. So I can go ahead and open up the Excel file. It's extracted two uh, portions of information from P6, the OBS and EPS. It puts each of the modules into uh, their own uh, tabs in Excel. So I can see that it's taken out um, all, the, all the various fields related to that module. And in this case, the OBS has an ID and a name. Um, so in this example, I may not want to load up my OBS one for one. Um, my OBS has EAI information. And it also has client info, which I don't really want in my demo database. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out of there. And I also have some other Oracle uh, labeled items. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out. I don't want to load those. I just want to, whoop, let me get one more. I just want to load my demo projects under my EAI node. So I've got that done. Um, I can see here I didn't have any nice descriptions filled in, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that over here so it looks a little bit better. So when I load it up, that's nice and tidy. On the EPS, same sort of thing. It extracts all the fields related to the EPS. I can go ahead and expand that so I can see it a bit better. And I can see same sort of um, structure. So I've got Emerald info, stuff we use in our demos. If I scroll down, I've got client info. I don't really want that in there either. So I can go ahead and remove these extra nodes that I do not want to bring in, okay, as an example. Now, maybe I want to add a node as well, which you can certainly do. So we can create brand new nodes if we we wish. So I'll go ahead and copy this line and I'll paste in a new line. Okay. And the only trick here is I need to tell it where in the hierarchy it needs to sit. So if I want to sit it right below the root or the top of the tree, I can go ahead and do that by making this link 
and then I need to obviously name it differently. I can't have two the same. So I can go ahead and uh, label it, let's say, sandbox. Because we usually put a sandbox into uh, all of our databases with our clients. So I'll go ahead and call it sandbox. Okay. So that's as simple as it gets. Uh, I can go ahead and save this file. I'll call it EPS OBS so I can find it. Now, while you're working in here, we also have the ability to remap. Okay, so you, th that's what these fields here, this new ID allows you to actually remap the, um, the node as well. Okay, so in this case, I won't do that. I'll just show you creating a new one. All right, so simple as that. I've got it ready. Now I can go back to my um, P6 loader. Now, in this scenario, I extracted from one database and I want to load into a different database. And I need to just switch to my empty database that I showed you a minute ago and load into there. So you see I'm going to use a different um, login. So I'm going to go ahead and browse uh, to my folder. And I called it EPS OBS, so it's this one. So I can go ahead and open it. And then I can ask the computer to go ahead and get that up into P6. So the refresh button lets me see kind of where things are at. Okay, that's what we want to see. Okay, so that's letting me know it went through. If you can't remember what you loaded yesterday, you can take a look at the info in the detail window. So it lets you know what it actually went through. Okay, so let's, let's go prove that. Let's go actually look at what it did. Uh, I just need to refresh this screen, so I'm just going to move off. And there you go. Okay, so that's the EPS side loaded in. Of course, I didn't load any projects at this point. This was strictly an EPS load. And in this case, I've got my new item that I created in Excel. So that's an ex one example. Let's take a look at the user side. So the OBS is inside the user access. So we'll just take a look at the OBS. And there's the OBS. Okay. So there's one very simple scenario, but the amount of time that that can save you is, is quite considerable. So when Emerald does a P6 rollout, we use this, this loader and uh, the smiles on all our consultants' faces when they're using it sells itself. 